G'day guys, here we are at the number three clamp block. Uh, this one is different than anything we've had to do. We're gonna learn about a new tool in this video. Uh, we're gonna be using the measuring tape tool, which is pretty exciting. I'm sure you're all very excited about that. And we also get to incorporate a bit of maths because it hasn't given us one of the dimensions uh, straight away. So let's get cracking straight away. First thing, we grab the rectangle, we need to figure out the footprint. So we can see they've given us one of them, very nice. Uh, that's 80 millimeters from there to there, that's great. Um, but here, it doesn't actually tell us the full um, size on the other side. It gives us a few different numbers. Um, but if we use our brains and we do a bit of math, if we look from this point here to that point here, and that point here to that point here, if we add those two together, it's going to give us the full width, isn't it? So 34 plus 31, if I use my big brain, that equals 65. So all I'm going to do is rectangle, click once, down in my dimensions, oh sorry, I got something in the way. Here we are. Down in the dimensions, we're going to type in 80, comma 65. Enter. Oh, sorry, stuff that one up. Let's try one more time. Control 80, comma 65. Enter. Perfect. Zoom in on that. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to push it up by how much? It says 120 millimeters. So click once. Start going up, one, two, zero, enter. All right, we'll zoom around. Um, I like to try and work at all times so that my model on this screen here is in the same orientation as the model here. So just try and make it look the same. You don't want to really be looking at it from here trying to work. Try and make it the same as it is in the booklet. Now, we need to make a cutout. Oops, we need to make a cutout here. And we need to do that to the exact dimensions that are specified. So that's where the measuring tape tool comes in handy. Right, this measuring tape here, or you can access it over there. What we need to do is use these dimensions given here to mark out where the chunk we're going to be taking out is. So measuring tape tool works just the same as any other tool. Click once, don't click and drag. We need to go from this top corner, 34 millimeters in. We know it's 34 millimeters to that point there. Or alternatively, you could go from the back corner, 31 millimeters in. It's up to you. But let's go from the back corner. Click once, three, one, enter. That gives us that point there. Now, we need to click once and we need to go down however far it says, which is 22 millimeters. So when we're doing this, this is one of the functions that we're gonna learn early on, but it's gonna come in so handy with all the future drawings that we do. If I click here and start going down, you'll see I can move the measuring tape tool wherever I want. And that at the moment might look pretty straight, but because the measuring tape line is black, it's technically on a little bit of a diagonal. If I move it a little bit to the left, see how it cracks onto the blue axis, right? That means I'm going perfectly straight up and down. We can see over here, there's a blue line that goes from top to the bottom of the page. That's our blue axis. That means we're going straight up and down on that axis. If I wanna move left and right, I want my line to be green. Or if I wanna move the other way, I want my line to be red, okay? Always important. Basically, every single line we draw needs to be following one of the axes. So this one, we want to be following the blue axis. So move the tape measure across until we get until the line turns blue and we get on the blue axis. And we're going to go down like it says in the drawing, 22 millimeters, enter. Now, we've got that mark there. We can finish off the little shape if we want and go across here. What's that? 34, 34, enter. And that gives us the shape that we need to take away. Now, you'll notice if I grab the push-pull tool straight away and try to remove it, it's not going to let me do that, right? It's going to move the whole shape. That's because, I'll just press escape to get back to where we were. That's because um, these aren't actually solved lines. They're just more, when you're using the tape measure tool, it's kind of like a guideline. It's kind of like just, you know, showing you where your lines need to be, just sort of setting things out. Um, so what we need to do is trace those lines. There's two ways we can do it. I'm, I'm going to show you both. We can use the pencil tool here or the line tool. We can click from there to there to there. And that gives us that shape. Or I can press Control Z, Z to undo that. And an easier way to do it would be to grab the rectangle tool, click from here to there, and it gives me the exact same result. Okay, up to you which way you want to do it. I reckon you're probably clever enough to figure out the next step. We want to grab the push pull tool, click on here once, and move it all the way through to the end. Right? Click, and it's gone. How good's that? That is one completed number three clamp block. Now, before, we've only used a couple of measuring tape lines uh, in this drawing, but in our future drawings, we're going to start using a lot more. Um, so it's good to get in the habit early on of removing the guides when we're done. 
So to remove the guides, all you got to do is go to edit up in the top toolbar here. And there's a function for delete guides. So click on that, and you'll see those those measuring tape lines go away. Okay, that is our number three clamp block completed. We make sure we file save. Uh, three clamp block save. Quick file new, and we're going to get ready for the channel guide. Okay, um, pretty similar skills as the activity we just did. Just got to do it a couple more times. So let's get into it. See you in the next video.